I just got back from an Apple event. I was not expecting to have this. We really made it out of the slums. I was not expecting to receive this. I got surprised by Apple. They didn't tell me I was receiving this today. Literally just like, yo, Siobhan, here you go. I'm like, what? So it hasn't even been like an hour since I've received this. I just got it. It's almost, it's almost like 7 p.m. here in Canada, but I decided to show you guys. So in this box, we have the brand new, we have this. They gave me this, but we also have the brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple, my favorite color. If you guys know me from high school, way back, you know, purple is my favorite color. So I'm really excited to see what it looks like. And also, we did get a case. So this is a leather case, the 14 Pro Max leather case. This color is called ink. It's pretty weird. But in this video, guys, uh, I'm just gonna run through the phone. Enough of me yapping. I know you guys want to see the dynamic notch and see what's inside the box. And also the new cameras and how it feels, the speakers, all that good stuff. So yeah, this is one terabyte. So it's the one terabyte version. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Ah, first rip off. Second rip off. I feel like I need to lower the camera. It's a bit too high. I just lowered the top down. I hope it's good. I don't know. So yeah, it was not good. I literally have the mic dangling down from the top of the video. Good job, Siobhan. Unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's get it. In deep purple. Oh, okay. It's really a deep purple. <laughs> it kind of matches the hoodie. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Does it match the hoodie? It's clean though. It is looking pretty clean. The sides look very nice. Very similar to the iPhone 13 over here. Not much of a difference. The camera lens on the 14 is massive. Way bigger than the 13 Pro. And I feel like I said that when the 13 Pro was released. So it just keeps getting bigger. Hopefully it's better. This is the last thing we have to rip off. Oof. Brand new. Insane. Inside the box, we also have, you know, the charging cable. All right, we just get regular Apple stickers and also SIM card tray for the, you know, SIM card to check the tool because here in Canada, we actually get the SIM. I know in America, they use eSIM, which kind of sucks. But yeah, we still get to use the SIM card here in Canada. Okay, let's put all this to the side. And we do have the case as well. Let's just quickly look at the case. And this one kind of has like a purple effect to it. You know, it's like a navy actually. Let's see how it blends in with the purple. That's a snug fit, it's a very snug fit. So this is what it looks like with the case on. Leather case, Apple leather case. What do you guys think? Are you feeling it? Are you not feeling it? All right, so first up, let's do a quick little setup. I wanna, I wanna sync everything from my older iPhone because I do have like, boring. I swear this has been updating for 20 hours, bro. Like four minutes, yo, that's sick. Wait, 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 can you guys see like, um, the dynamic island when you try to unlock it, you see? That's cool. It's saying about four minutes for the last 20 minutes. Siobhan, where's the camera test? Where It's pitch black outside. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna upload this. I don't know, I might upload it. I'm trying to get into the algorithm. So the YouTube gods can bless me. So we're finally brand new on the iPhone 14 Pro. And my friends <laughs> messaging me right now. But yo, first thing first, always on display. The phone's off right now. That's what it looks like. It's nothing like on Android where it's fully like a black and white, I could still see, you know, the colors behind it. Apparently the refresh rate just drops down to one Hertz and it's super dim. So it's almost like a always dim display, not fully always. <laughs> if you touch it, it gets super bright, but it's really nice. You might hate it, you might like it. I personally so far, I like it. It's actually asking me if I'd like to set up an eSIM, but I don't need to set up an eSIM. Let's just transfer my SIM card over. I'm glad that I could just use my regular SIM card. So a lot of people are complaining about the deep purple. I think it looks really good. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the lighting. You know, if it's super dark, it would look like a very, you know, dark grape kind of purple. But when the light hits it, you see the purple shining straight out. So I don't know, it's a hit or miss. I think personally, if I was supposed to choose, I would get the purple because I said before, it's my favorite color. Or if you don't get the purple, I think the new space black looks nice. It also comes in three other colors. So you get the deep purple, space black, gold, and silver. So that's the four colors you get this year. So of course we have the brand new A16 Bionic chip inside, which is gonna be great for battery life and also just overall performance of the device. I can't wait to test it because Apple are claiming 
all day battery life. You already know what happened to my 13 Pro Max during my day in the life testing. So if you guys don't wanna miss day in the life testings of this brand new phone, ensure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. That's all I'm saying. Another thing I wanted to test is the speakers. I know I haven't heard Apple say anything about the new, like if there's a new speaker or anything. So let's quickly just test the speakers versus my 13 Pro Max right here. First, let's listen to 13 Pro Max. iPhone 14 Pro Max. Bro, it, it sounds like the same shit. It's the same speakers. I, I, I don't hear any difference. Now, as you guys can see, compared to the 13 Pro Max, it's the same display in terms of the you know dimensions, 6.7 inches. But the striking difference right here is this dynamic island. And I'll show you guys quickly how it works. So that's one of the major differences you could tell. And if you switch it around to the back, you can see that the camera bump is massive on the brand new iPhone 14 right here. So it's a huge camera bump. The flash looks different. If you guys look closely, you can see it has a different flash, a huge, like a more diffuse flash, and it looks more cooler. If I try the case, let's put a 13 inside a 14 case. You can see how much space is left on the camera bump. So sides from that, it's the same design we're familiar with. But if you look at the sides right here, the same volume rockers, we got the ringer switch, the SIM card slot. At the bottom, we do have a lightning, no USB type C. And over on the side, we got the power button. So as I said before, same thing, new year. <laughs> now, one thing that's really different with the screen is that yes, it's still 120 Hertz ProMotion on the 13 Pro and also the 14 Pro with our max devices, but the 14 Pro gets up to 2000 peak nits. So if you're in direct sunlight, that bad boy would go up to 2000 nits of brightness, which is insane. And just looking at these two right here, the 14 Pro is definitely brighter. I have these both maxed out. Now, one thing I've been loving recently is the new lock screen. So this is not like only for the 14 Pro. You could get this on any device as long as it has iOS 16, but this new lock screen looks amazing. So you could choose between different lock screen that I've made a couple myself. If you're just using a wallpaper, you want to customize it with this depth effect. And basically it puts the clock behind the subject. Another thing that's new with the iPhone 14 Pro, the 14 Pro Max, and also the regular 14 devices is the new satellite feature. So basically how this works is that it uses satellite, you know, to, if you're ever stranded in an area, for example, you went skiing and you, you went on the wrong turn and you can't get signal and you're lost, you could literally pull out your phone, point it to the satellite. It will come up with a UI that directly you know, shows you where you should point your phone and then that would be transferred over to emergency services and you could send a message and they will send help for you. And also it has crash detection. Again, God forbid you've been into a car crash and you can't like take out your phone to call emergency services, your phone will like analyze whatever happened, listen out for glass breaking and stuff like that. Get a prompt up to say, have you been in a car crash? You could click yes or no. If you take too long, then the phone will automatically contact emergency services, send help right to you right away. So I think that's a pretty cool feature to have that peace of mind on these new devices. Now on the flip side, we have some new cameras. Now we have 48 megapixels on for the main camera, 48 megapixels up from 12 megapixels. So that's like four times better when it comes on to the sharpness. When you zoom in, you still have your details. Over on the front facing camera, we also have a new true depth camera, which has autofocus. So this is the first time ever that we have autofocus on the front facing camera of the iPhones. And it's not only for the iPhone 14 Pro models, it's for the regular 14 as well. But the new autofocus on the front facing camera is actually mind blowing. I know, Android has been doing it for years, but it's nice to see that Apple is stepping up to the plate, giving us what we need. If we get super close, you can see it's focusing on like my eyes and everything. If you use your front facing camera a lot, I know a lot of people are on TikTok and stuff like that. This is much appreciated because now, if you want to show off like this candy bar, not candy bar, but this bar, and you put it close to the camera, it literally focuses on the snack and blurs me out from the background. So while we're still in the cameras, as you can see, we now have a new two times zoom. A lot of people were mad that we didn't have the two times zoom, but now it's back. We still have that three times optical zoom, which looks really sharp and the very famous 0.5 ultra wide that everybody loves to use. But 
it doesn't end there. Cinematic mode has also got some improvements on the new devices. 4K 24 FPS, 4K 30 FPS in cinematic mode. Of course, you know what it does. Basically, it keeps a subject in focus to blur out the background. So after you finish recording your video, recording your footage, you could position what you want to be in focus or not in focus. So while we're still sticking inside the camera app, you could probably see the theme here. Apple really focused on the camera this year. So we now have this new action mode. So this little guy running on top right here, if you enable that, now we have action mode and it's only limited to 1080p 30, 1080p 60, or 2.8K 30 and 2.8K 60, so no 4K. I definitely see a dramatic visual loss in quality whenever you have action mode on, but that the sacrifice that you have to take if you want to have super steady footage. But if you're running and stuff like that, I'm literally, now it's telling me that I need more light because I'm using the wide angle lens. So let's go to the regular lens. It's still telling me that I need more light, but let's just try to do a demonstration and I'm trying to capture a footage while I'm running. All right, this is probably the worst way to test it, but indeed that was the worst way to show off action mode. So instead I ran inside the hallways and this is the results you get. It does require more light to be let in in order to get the best results, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I couldn't have went throughout this video without showing you guys some sample images. So I did take some pictures at night. Right now, when you're watching this, I'm probably sleeping, knocked out in the bed. But here's a quick blind test to see if you guys could differentiate between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Is there a difference? Let me know. Pause the video. Comment down below which one is on the left and which one is on the right. Good luck guessing. <laughs> All right, now I want you guys to pause the video, comment down below which side won. Was it the left side or the right side? I'm gonna tell the answer in three, two, one. So yes, the iPhone 14 Pro Max was on the left and the iPhone 13 Pro Max was on the right. If you guys got it right, let me know down below in the comments. And do you think there's a major difference in image quality, especially in low light? I personally think there has been improvements on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and it's good to see. Man, I'm loving the dynamic island so far, but it's kind of a reach. You know what I'm saying? I do have big hands, as you guys can see, but for some people, it might be a pain to actually reach the dynamic island. You'll probably need to use your hand, your phone with both hands every time if you want to really maximize that feature. So basically what dynamic island does is that it uses AI. For example, if you go ahead and start the timer, that's a thing I see a lot of people doing. You can see how it just plops out and it, it makes use of the space. So if you're in, you know, settings app or something like that, you don't need to come out of the settings app just to figure out how much time you have left. And it's also interactive too. So you, if you want to pause it you just long press on a dynamic island you pause it or you could end it right from there without have to be going inside the app so it's like always an overlay of an app like mini overlay of an app on your home screen or wherever you are so it doesn't interrupt how you use your iphone it's supposed to make our lives easier while now we have to stretch all the way just to use dynamic island but again I said before i'd rather this than just having a random notch at the top not doing anything Anyways, that was my quick unboxing and initial impressions of the iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple. And there's so much more content, many more stuff that I have to look at for this. So I would have like the day in the life stuff up, initial review up. I would have comparisons, camera comparisons between the 13 Pro to see if there's actually any difference inside the cameras because a lot of people are saying it's the same thing. So we have to test that out. If there's anything else like case reviews I have to do, I have the Apple case, silicone cases. So much more coming guys, I'm hyped, I'm pumped. If you are too, smash the like button, let's hit 5,000 likes on this video and let me know what else do you want me to test on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, all right? As always guys, Love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.